Hey, how's it going? My name is Adam Woods, and I'm a producer here at Oakwood Studios. Today I want to talk about my band's brand new song, New Normal. Usually when we write a song, there's a 6 to 12 month delay from when we write the song to when we release it. For this song, there's only about a month delay from when we wrote this song to when we uploaded it to our distribution service. So I wanted to take the opportunity while this mix is still fresh in my mind to talk about some of the production techniques we use to bring the song together. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about are the uh, chorus vocals. This was a chorus that I was really excited about just from the first demo and I could tell that there was a lot of potential to make this be really impactful. I like to go very big on harmonies. As you can tell, there are a lot of layers here. For me, harmonies like make the chorus so much more full and really give context to the melody and you can just do so much more emotionally to convey what you're trying to convey instead of just having one lead vocal. So let me just play kind of the lead lines of this in with the song and then I'll kind of talk about what I added in to um, really beef up this chorus and make those vocals really pop. Great performance by Zach and what a absolutely killer chorus. The first thing I always do is double up a chorus. Um, so there's just another performance directly under that. Um, it's pan center and it's usually put down six or eight dB. It looks like it's eight here. Um, this just makes it sound thicker. I'll play a couple lines of that. As you can hear, it's not a giant difference. It just starts to kind of reinforce those lead vocals and kind of help it sit on top of this uh, big production we have going behind it. Uh, the next thing are just another set of doubles that go left and right. So you can hear here. Kept in peace with the fact. They're just the same lead line um, tracked again and again and panned left and right. Again, this is just to start building that up and kind of reinforce that center vocal. I don't want the effect of having a choir of Zacks. I want to have one prominent lead vocal and then all these other things are just supporting it. So this is where it gets fun. This is uh, the harmonies. So we have a first one here. As you can hear, that sounds a little chipmunky because uh, we tuned it down and I tracked that part and then we tuned it back up. It was a trick that the Beatles used to do a lot. Yeah, it's a good way to get the intensity and the, the grittiness and get out of your usual vocal range. The problem with this is you have to be really careful because if it's too loud, it sounds like you're uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. So let me play that in context. Kept in peace with the fact Way too far past What was the same old thing And now there's no turning back Hope to Pretty quiet in the mix, but it definitely adds some intensity and kind of that gritty, screamy quality that we wanted to have. All right, so this next layer is kind of a lower harmony that I did as well. Come to peace with the fact, way too far past. What was the same old thing and now there's no turning back. So this is kind of a trick that the lower you go on these kind of harmonies that you get kind of raspier and airier. And it really just helps keep those harmonies um, kind of in line with the lead vocals. You know, usually a, a lower note, you kind of lose that sparkle to your voice. So if you kind of intentionally add in an airier sound to that, it really helps it stick in there. So let me play all those layers together. Kept in peace with the fact Way too far past What was the same old thing And now there's no turning back oh, oh. Especially on those low lines, it really just helps kind of solidify kind of this more kind of wandering sort of melody instead of just this powerful da 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 All right, so we have one more layer of harmonies here. Come to peace with the fact Way too far past What was the same old thing And now there's no turning back So this is just a straight up falsetto of, I believe, the same melody as this. 
So probably what happened is I wrote this harmony in the falsetto and then decided I needed a gritty version of it. So I had to do the uh, pitch down trick. This is a really common trick that really just adds kind of an extra dimension to the vocals, especially on choruses like this, where higher harmonies are pretty much out of Zach's or my range. Again, like with the pitched vocals, you have to be really careful not to um, to bring those up too loud or else it sounds a little uh, choiry, which you know sometimes can be really cool. But for this thing, we wanted to keep that power and that grit. So it's really just kind of taking a background role and just supporting that um, up in the higher register. It also has the effect of kind of adding legitimacy to the chipmunk layers. Um, those mixed in together, I'm, I'm sure it'll sound a lot more natural than just the uh, pitched layer alone. Also, it can help with the pitch, too. Um, the falsettos are usually very easy to just like pull up auto tune and see exactly where they need to be. These grittier ones can be really difficult. Um, a lot of the times I'm tuning those by hand, um, by ear, and just cutting out a piece like this and pitching it up or down by a few cents. Um, so it can be pretty, uh, pretty tricky to get those right. So having a falsetto, even if you just have it as a reference, can be really helpful. All right, near the end here, we have some screaming layers. So this is kind of, again, back to that idea of your layers are kind of reinforcing or adding context to the lead lines. So the lead line here is pretty aggressive, right? Wasted efforts to bury a past that defines a future sought after. Yeah, pretty aggressive line here. So we wanted to kind of... Um, lean into that aggressiveness, but we don't want it to be like a screaming part. So that's why we double it and pan it left and right. So you really just get kind of this um, push that it's a more aggressive part instead of just going full screaming here. So that's all together. Uh, so the last two parts of this are the uh, O's and woes. So um, we have this stack here, and this is just a bunch of layers of harmony um, all sung. I think Skaggs, myself, and Zach all had layers uh, in here at some point. So they're all just stacked together and uh, exported as one file just because I don't want to look at 30 different files. But it would be 20 to 30 layers of this and all tuned and timed close enough that it all works together. And then the uh, last thing is the woe, which is, is a really prominent part in this chorus. And this is the same idea, just a bunch of us all did, a, uh, Skaggs and Zach and myself all did just a bunch of woes. And actually on this one, I left it completely dry. This goes back to, there's just not a lot of space in this chorus, and this doesn't really need reverb, because the second this is over, there's already vocals starting over the end of this. You can see they overlap here. So reverb's either going to get lost or if it's loud enough, it's just going to overtake other things. So it's not important for that part. So the basic idea is uh, have a good lead line and just reinforce it. You know, I wasn't trying to add anything with these harmonies beyond just reinforcing where this lead line was going. It was really strong right from the get go. It was really a game of working around the limitation of um, neither of us having the range to sing the traditional like third or fifth above the usual but I think it really worked out because it let that lead vocal shine and be the most intense part of this. All right, I think that's all I have for New Normal. If you haven't already, go check out the music video on YouTube. Just search New Normal featuring Michael Skaggs of Outlining Color by A Mixtape Catastrophe. If you're interested in recording with me and getting these kinds of production elements on your music, visit my Facebook page at facebook.com slash oakwoodstudiosok and shoot me a message. I work with a variety of different genres of music and offer tracking, editing, mixing and mastering services, as well as reamping. 